In today's episode, we want to show you how to make Irish soda bread in a crock pot or a slow cooker, as Dean calls it. If you want to learn more about this recipe and other St. Patty recipes, please look at our blog site and our Pinterest site at thehardhatbells.com. Don't forget to like us and subscribe! Have you ever wanted to do something yourself and couldn't find the right episode on HGTV or TV itself? Well, you have come to the right place. Let's DIY and LIY right to it. This is Phoebe. And this is da 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 -ni. And we are the Hard Hat Bells. Phoebe, are these all the ingredients that we need? Uh-huh, Danine, these are all the ingredients we need. And here are all the ingredients. Some salt, some olive oil, here, take this, some baking soda, and, oof, I mean, flour, eggs, some apple cider vinegar, and some milk. Bye guys! So now that we had a crisis of BB knocking over the vinegar and it smells very vinegary in here, nice and clean, you pour the milk into a bowl, carefully, let's keep the vinegar away from BB, and put your vinegar in there for five minutes so that the milk will sour and be ready for your recipe. Uh, next, we are going to use our cooking spray to spray the inside and sides and bottom and everywhere. I think that's good. <laughs> of the crock pot. That's so your bread won't stick to the sides. So now that we've added both the wheat and white flour, baking soda, brown sugar, which was dark, and salt. We mix that up very thoroughly, and then it's time to add the olive oil. Now, different people have different methods of putting the olive oil, blending it in there. You can use your hands, or I've got this antique whisk type egg separator thing my husband got for me that works very well, and I don't have to get my hands in. Vivi, on the other hand, loves to get her hands. And it works very well. You want to get this well blended. Now next we want to uh, whisk that egg into the milk and apple cider mixture. Yum! Now it's time to add the milk and egg and vinegar mixture into the, the flour. You make a well in the center of the flour and pour almost all of it in, but keep about a quarter cup back. And mix it in so it becomes pliable, like you can make it into a ball. <laughs> yeah, you're having too much fun. I, I, think, I think I need to stand back from you. This just does not fold well for me. And um, I found that when I did it, I used all of it the first time and it was too sticky for me, but yet Vivi did it and it was just perfect. She ended up using all of it. So we're not sure what was going on there, maybe different types of flour. I uh, also used my mixer, maybe my mixer mixed it better. Could have been. So now that I've kneaded this for quite a while, five or six times, or more, uh, I'm going to fold it into a ball. Catch! Ah. Catch! Yeah, pieces. No. I'm going to form it into the ball now. Now it is time for you to put it into the slow cooker. And um, you mash it a little bit so it's about two and a half inches tall. But you want to leave an edge around the outside of the slow cooker and the inside so that um, it has time to expand. And you... So next what you want to do, and I'll let you do it, da -da 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 is you want to cut across into the dough and that helps 
the dough to actually cook through, the bread to cook through. Then you're going to turn the crock pot on high for two to two and a half hours. When you put a toothpick in or a cake tester and it comes out clean, you'll know your bread is done. Remove the soda bread from the slow cooker and then wrap it up with a towel and keep it in there for about two hours or so because otherwise if you cut it too early it's just going to crumble and fall apart and we don't want that to happen and no. do you want to try some of the stuff I would love um, to that you made this one is the whole wheat this is the whole wheat we can one. eat oh yay this is really good with soups and stews and that really? and I've been eating it for time Corinthians 9.10 states, Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. And, d -d 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 like the old Irish saying goes, may the banister of life never have splinters in him. Point, point, <laughs> the wrong way. So, if you don't like somebody, or you have an issue with somebody. They should point the, the wrong way. way. The other way. Okay, we want them to point in the wrong way. Yes. Happy St. Patty's Day. So now that you mix the flour up, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just kind of playing with it. <laughs> You're supposed to be mixing it and making it into oh. a ball. <laughs> you still have some on your nose. I do? Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind some of this? No. You need more juice, don't you? I mean, egg mixture. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, don't, don't leave me! No, don't. The red button? 